to Nationwide Children's Hospital. In 2005, I became the first patient ever at Nationwide Children's Hospital to receive a bone marrow transplant for sickle cell. My older sister, Melissa, was my bone marrow donor. And since then, I've been disease free. The theme of today's ceremony is to get growing. We are celebrating the ongoing commitment of this hospital and this community to our children's growth. When this one is finished in 2012, that it'll knock the socks off what everybody else has done. Examples are better sleeping options for patients, private showers, family lounges on every floor, and a host of other features to make hospital visits and stays more comfortable and less stressful. When my dad carried me into children's emergency department, they knew I was pretty sick. In about 45 minutes, the doctors had figured out I had Crohn's disease. I got the treatment that was right for me, and in just a few short days, I was gaining weight and felt so much better. We want to be one of the very finest children's hospitals anywhere in this country, and thereby anywhere in the world. We provide that care regardless of a family's ability to pay. That's a sacred promise that we've made this, to this community. The driving force behind this vision is not, of course, the board, but the doctors uh, and the staff and the nurses and those who work every day to make miracles happen in this place. And in order to be a world-class institution, clearly we need to have world-class facilities. Hi, my name is Aaron Young, and I had an operation at Nationwide Children's Hospital last year. Dr. Connie Otto was my surgeon. She made me feel safe and not scared at all. She explained everything, and before I knew it, I was awake and ready to go home. Nationwide Children's Hospital is stepping up to not only expand their hospital as a place where children can get the best health care in the nation, but to create a neighborhood where children can live, grow, and prosper. I'm proud of this hospital. I'm proud that we are a partner of this hospital. Nationwide Children's Hospital has been like a second home to me since I was diagnosed with kidney failure. I am going to have a kidney transplant. My older brother, Isaac, is a match. I can't wait. I know I'm going to be in good hands. We are here today to celebrate a milestone in our journey to build the finest pediatric hospital in the nation. We are also here to celebrate Savannah, a four-year-old cancer survivor who battled leukemia and in the process stole the hearts of everyone she encountered at Nationwide Children's. We are here for Gavin, who arrived in the neonatal intensive care unit weighing only one pound, 10 ounces. Today, nine months later, Gavin now tips the scale at 14 pounds. And we are here for Brindley, who under special arrangements was born at Nationwide Children's so she could undergo life-saving heart surgery when she was only moments old. Our journey has not yet reached its conclusion. We're well on our way, but there is still much to do. We're here to tell you today about our journey with Nationwide Children's Hospital. Our middle daughter, Sophie, told us that it felt a little bit hard for her to breathe when she lay down at night. To this day, Dr. Larson, the first physician to examine Sophie, claimed she was the sickest child he had ever cared for. The bottom line was that Sophie was in congestive heart failure. Believe me, those are the last words you expect to hear about your eight-year-old daughter. Sophie's condition was deteriorating, and she was placed on a heart-lung machine to stabilize her heartbeat and breathing. Many physicians from multiple specialties were working to save our daughter's life. Her condition worsened, and the name Sophie Sheridan was placed on the transplant list. While we kept a bedside vigil, the people of Children's watched out for us. Through it all, we waited, watching each minute and hour pass by until, remarkably, a donor heart became available. From one respect, we were thrilled that Sophie might get the heart she desperately needed to survive. But we also knew that another family had lost a loved one. After seven hours that seemed more like seven days, Dr. Galanowitz emerged from the operating room to tell us the surgery was completed, and Sophie's long road to recovery was just beginning. Then the day we thought would never arrive finally did. Sophie was released from the hospital on June 28th, an amazing five weeks after her transplant, and almost three months from the day we walked into the emergency department. 
There's someone else who needs to join us now to make our family complete and saying our thank you to all these wonderful people arrayed on the stage with us. That's our daughter, Sophie Sheridan. What it is that we do has nothing to do with the bricks and the mortar. It's about the people who stand behind me, who provide this care day in and day out. So Kimmy, Aaron, and Aaron and Jake are going to help us count down. If I can ask our speakers to each grab a uh, trowel.